Good morning, Stonewall. Good morning. How are you doing? I think they're great today on this Wednesday. You know yes. what? I think so too. I think they are. What about you, ladies? They're pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I can't complain. And you? I'm doing good. Good. Excellent. On Wise Word Wednesday, I am so very thankful that I have some thoughtful, wise <laughs> ladies. Oh, thank you. I'm Miss Bosa, your school counselor. And I'm Miss Lindsay. And we have our very wise very friends. Wise. Mr. Sizemore with CIS. And on Wise Word Wednesday, mm -hmm. we are coming to you from Support, Support You News. And ladies, on Wise Word Wednesday, we have one, two, two. very wise students, correct? Very wise. We do. We're so excited to have them today. Yes, we have Liliana and Madison. Come on Come in. Come on in, ladies. Say good morning to Stonewall. You are very wise. We're glad you're here. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Excellent. Are you ladies ready to share some words of wisdom with us? Yep. yep. All right. Let's get started, friends. Let's do it. All right. Today we are going to read a story from our book, Character Building Day by Day by Andy Mather and Louise B. Weldon. Are y'all ready? Okay. Today our story is called A Basket of Kittens. Oh, I love kittens. Do you guys love kittens? Who doesn't love mm -hmm. kittens? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sheila's family just finished a very busy week. The family slept later than usual on Saturday morning, and Dad fixed waffles with strawberries and whipped cream for a special treat. Still, the whole family looked tired as they ate. Mom had worked late every night that week. Sheila had tried out for sixth grade band, so she had practiced her clarinet extra hours to prepare. Her brother Desmond had played tennis after high school every afternoon until dark, getting ready for a big tournament. Sheila knew just what to do to relax. She cleared the breakfast dishes from the kitchen table and took out a puzzle of three kittens in a basket that Desmond had given her for her birthday. That was three months ago and she hadn't had time to start the puzzle yet. She dumped all the puzzle pieces on the table and started turning them right side up. Dad pulled up a chair and started matching colors to the photograph on the box. In a few minutes, Desmond joined them. He began finding all the pieces with a straight edge to frame the picture. When Mom came in a little while later, she took the fourth chair at the table and gathered pieces that looked like the shiny black cat on the box top. Nothing like a puzzle to help us relax and bring a little balance to a hectic week, Mom said. Okay, so what do you do during busy times to help relax yourself? Do you have anything that you like to do, like puzzles, doing puzzles? They did a puzzle to help them relax. What do you like to do to relax? Um, watching TV. Ooh, watching TV, your favorite TV show. What about you, Madison? Is there anything in particular you like to do to relax? Ooh, playing with a pet. That was, that's a good one. Yeah. Why do you think that relaxation is something that's important? to have that balance between working really hard and doing really important things, but also having time to relax and rest. Um, does it help you kind of calm yourself back down and get your body working at its full potential? Yeah, definitely. Like our body needs breaks, mm -hmm. right? Just like if we put gas in a car to keep that car going, we have to kind of regenerate ourselves too, right? So that re relaxing and balancing with lots of hard work, but also just taking some time out are those things that help us regenerate ourselves, aren't they? Yeah. I like to take a nap. Mm -hmm. As a mom, a busy mom, <laughs> I don't always yeah. get naps. So if I need some of that balance and relaxation, Napping is a good thing for me. You're reading a book. Yes. Those are some, and typically if I start reading a book, I end up in the, the nap anyway. Yeah. So what about you, Miss Lindsay? For sure taking a nap. Sunday is our nap days at my house. So my littlest one takes a nap every day. But my big boys, we always have a rest day on Sunday. And we have some time to rest and relax. And sometimes that means falling asleep on the couch. Maybe that means watching a show or reading a book. But 
anyway, being mindful of having that day to rest and relax and recharge before you start another busy week, right? Um, yeah, so that's very important. So go ahead and talk about it in your classes today. How do you find balance? How do you relax? What is that thing that you like to do to help yourself regenerate? And um, when you feel like you've worked really hard or you've had a really busy week, what's that thing that, that helps you? And, and practice that this week. You know, talking about it is one thing, but actually putting it into practice um, makes it so much more real and lets you see the benefits of what that part of your life and that part of finding balance can do for you. So talk about it today. Write about it. And we would love to hear from you guys. Let us know what those things are that help you in your life to find balance. We hope you have a very wise and wonderful Wednesday, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.